What's up everybody? Welcome back to Life with Patrice. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine, but I am going to be using Flora and Curls products. So basically, um, Flora and Curl reached out to me um, to sample one of their new products that they were going to be launching and for sampling it in return, I got free products. So I am going to be using them and showing you guys um, or telling you guys what I think. So I had got the Sweet Hibiscus Twist and Braid Cream that I'm going to be using. I got the Jasmine Oasis Floor Hydration Hair Mist. Which I heard some really good things, if you guys can see. I think it's a glare. I heard some really good things about this. And I actually been using this already when I had my braids. Just to kind of like, you know, get my braids a little freshen up. I got the Flora and Curl Soothe Me Coconut Mint Curl Refresh Clay Wash. Such a bad glare. And then I also got their Comb and Pick. I got their Hydrate Me Organic Rose and Honey Leave-In Detangler which I also used this before and I actually do like this a lot. And then I got the Gentle Curl Towel. Shampoo and conditioner kind of stick to the same one so I didn't get their shampoo and conditioner. So I'm going to be using the Kinky Curly Come Clean. So you guys know I use, I showed you guys the Kinky Curly Come Clean and I also show you the Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. So I go back between those two as far as shampoos and then the Tea Tree Tangle Conditioner I'm going to be using also. So. The clay wash from Flora Curl, you basically have to make this. It gives the directions on the back. And so I'm going to wash my hair first. Um, and then I'm going to follow up with the clay wash because it recommends um, your hair already being detangled and damp. So um, I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to hop in the shower, wash my hair and everything. And then I'll get back to you guys and show you guys how I do the clay wash. And then show you what I will do next after that. It also... I almost forgot. I'm going to also be using my hair, hair mayonnaise as a deep conditioner um, because like you guys know I just had braids in so to kind of help my hair get that strength back I'm going to use the deep conditioner as well. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all my new and my old subscribers for helping grow my channel and without further ado let's just get into this video. Guys, I am now done washing my hair and detangling my hair. It took very very long but now I'm going to do the clay wash so basically it gives you instructions how to make it um my eyebrows look a hot mess it tells you it gives you instructions on how to make it um on the back so it says in a small bowl which I have a this bowl it says mix two tablespoons of powder so I'm actually gonna get I'm gonna get a tablespoon, and so this is the pot that they're referring to, obviously. So I'm gonna mix two tablespoons. It looks just like this. Ooh. So I'm not really a fan of clay, so this is gonna be interesting, but I did hear a lot of good reviews about this, that's why I wanted to um to try it. So then it says, and then six tablespoons of warm water to activate the treatment. So I actually happen to have some warm water here. I'm going to go ahead and add six tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I have six tablespoons, and I'm going to mix it together. Oh, girl. Okay, so I'm not sure if I didn't do it right or what, but it's very crummy. This is how it looks. It looks very, very crummy. And I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think it's supposed to be the texture of clay. That's why it's called a clay wash. But I did read some reviews of how the measurements were off when somebody else did it too um they used the same thing two tablespoons of, of the powder and six tablespoons of the water and they said that it was kind of off so i'm just gonna add a little bit more water see if it gets a little bit more smoother okay so it is turning into a little bit a little bit more clay and less crumbly now Okay, 
It's looking more pasty. It's looking more of a paste than chunky like it was before. So I'm gonna add, I'll keep adding a little bit more water. All right, so I'm not sure if this is 100% correct, but this is what I got. And again, I do not like clay, so. This is kind of what I got. It smells very minty. Um, I'm just gonna apply this to my hair. It said leave on to for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out with warm water. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it says be amazed. So I'm very interested in seeing the results after. <laughs> Here's B even there. Okay, let me fix this camera. I wish I had some gloves because you do not want to touch this. So I do like this um, towel. I think it's made out of a t-shirt, honestly. I'm not really sure, but I do love it. It's huge. It's way bigger than my Diva Curl one. I have a Diva Curl towel too, but it's way bigger. So it covers my full head and I like the texture of it. So my hair is a whole bunch of like chunky twists right now because I need to section it for um, this clay wash. So I'm just going to honestly go section by section.
rinse and I'm gonna rinse it out and I'll get back to you. Rinse my hair off. I am officially done like washing my hair and conditioning and deep conditioning. I'm now ready to put um, some twist in. So this is how my hair look right now after the washing and conditioning and stuff. Feels super soft. Um, so I'm basically gonna put um, a couple of, of twists in. So in my previous video, I mentioned to you guys that I've been wearing, or I'm gonna be wearing like braids and stuff like that for the summer. So I'm twisting my hair up and then I'm gonna put Clarissa on just for like a protective style. So I'm basically gonna part down the middle and then I'm using the Flora and Curl Sweet Hibiscus Twist and Braid Cream. Now usually right now I would have used my hair butter, but I am trying their products they send them to me right now. So I'm just gonna put some, I'll put the Flora and Curl Leave-In Conditioner in and then I'm gonna put the hair twist in. But I'm actually gonna spray my hair first with the hair mist deep leave-in conditioner and then the hair twist and i'm going to put a couple of little twists in here um again i'm not wearing these twists so now i'm really not, i'm not really worried about like how neat and stuff they are um because they're going to be up under a wig anyway it's more so for moisturizing my hair and stuff like that twist out um i think that it would be decent honestly my hair looks so moisturized and my twists look so juicy um so i think this combination is very very good i actually was using this leave-in conditioner like i mentioned i was using this leave-in conditioner with my um hair butter and like bomb twist outs um but i actually like this a lot both of them i feel like my hair is just so moisturized and it could also be because i condition like the deep conditioner and stuff like that but 
I love the shine that the Flora Curl products are giving me. Like I said, if I was doing a twist out, I think it would come out um come out decent. But I'm not. I'm gonna put Clarissa on and rock her until I get my braids back in. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really loving my hair. I love my hair is growing. I feel like my hair is back to being healthy. It's on a good track to a better start um but yeah i actually like the results that i got from from florida and curl so i really appreciate them sending me out those products to try um i love them and i love their hair towel towel like i said literally the biggest towel and i love it because it goes it like holds all of my hair um and i love their hair mist like i said i would use this hair mist before on my braids and i just love i love it because it has aloe and jasmine in it and on organic rose and i feel like when i spray on my hair like even like i'm gonna spray it again, spray it again. in the mornings um on my hair i would spray this and kind of just go again it's says hydrate me and that's kind of why i use it because like y'all know i live in arizona and the water is hard so um this was really perfect um for using it every single day um, and i also love this jam conditioner i actually stopped using jam because it doesn't really hold my edges but as far as like doing braids and stuff like that it actually does do a pretty good job so and it gives me a really good shine so all the products i use today i actually really do love and again shout out to flora and curl this is not a promoted video though again they just sent me some free samples and i just wanted to try them and let you guys know how i like them so i hope you guys enjoyed my video i hope you guys enjoyed the products that i use and if you have any questions leave um, me a comment or a question down below in the comment section and i will do my best to answer that question for you don't forget i am doing a giveaway i'm going to give my do my giveaway at the end of this month so drop your comments um um, in the description box or the comment section down below if you have any other ideas that you think I should do for that um, I appreciate all my supporters and all my subscribers that help me grow my channel um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and I'm trying to think that I forget anything else the clay wash so the clay wash, I do like, again, I personally do not like the texture of clay and I like the, like, I don't like how it felt on my hair, honestly, but, um, it did rinse out very good. I was kind of worried about having my time rinsing out, but it rinsed out very, very good. Um, I'm not sure if I did the paste, the texture of the paste correct. I'm not sure if I needed more water to make it a little bit more pasty, a little bit more liquidy, or if I had too much water. I'm not really sure, but I did like my results after. I felt like, I felt like my whole wash day routine today with the clay wash and the, um, mayonnaise deep conditioner really gave my hair that love that I needed for bringing in braids for a month. So, um, again, floor curl, I liked, I did like their products a lot, and I love their comb i use this comb to sing my hair in the shower um i also have a pick from them i didn't use the pick yet because i don't really use picks that much but um i just love it I love it. it's pink but yes guys so again thanks so much for watching i'll see you next video bye